Hello, Nintendo Chit Chatters. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Welcome to RPG Maker Fest on the Nintendo 3DS. Shoutouts to NIS America for providing a copy of the game. And today's tutorial video is creating an initial starting point in the game. All right, guys, so here's how you do that. Basically, this allows a player to start when they're playing your game at a certain specific place of your choosing. It could be in an overworld, it could be in a castle, in a dungeon area, in a house, in a village, anywhere you want. And this is the initial position right here. This is actually the test map that's already uh, loaded in your game. So I recommend uh, for tips and tricks to look at the test map. Um, look at all of the samples in the game, from the items to the enemies, uh, all of the pre-built villages, castles, dungeons as well, and use those, and even the events too, uh, use those samples to kind of reverse engineer when creating your own from scratch. It's a good way to kind of learn things uh, by reverse engineering by seeing how they're already made from those samples. Okay guys, so this little icon here, little face, uh, is the initial starting point when you play the game. And you can see that by going out to test play here. Let me actually, I gotta save my game first. <laughs> All right, so we're out here. Didn't do that yet. Test play. So we're gonna save it into slot four. Cool. Make sure you guys save your creations for sure. <laughs> All right, from the beginning. So I have no title screen, nothing like that. So a little icon that was on the edit map screen is exactly where our character starts on the overworld map here. And here we are. We can move around. We have a little um, uh, castle down here to the right, our town, a little village up there. And these are all enterable as we did and showed you by connecting the maps in a previous tutorial video. And here's a little town, go back out. But this is all about creating the initial starting point. So let's back out of the test play here. Quit out of the test play feature. Go back into map settings. <clears throat> all right. So let's say we want to change that spot in the overworld. So there it is. What you're going to do is uh, hit the B button. And you're going to edit event by hitting A. Cool. And you're going to place event. Now let's place this a while and then we'll select what we want it to do. Uh, let's say we want us to start here. Hit the A button. All right, and go to initial position. Set party's initial position. Hit A again. Now you can also choose the direction uh, of the character and how they'll be facing. Kind of like the same thing when they're entering and connecting maps. Um, same positioning, so you can have it facing downwards, uh, looking up, looking right and left. So we're gonna have our character looking down. That works for here. And there we go. And now when we test play, we'll overwrite that, save it, test play. All right, from the beginning. Ah, and there we started right there in the upper left part of our screen. So that works out really well. But uh, say you want to be more fancy and don't want to start in the overworld. I think most players, uh, when making their games, uh, and when you play the game, don't really want to start out in the overworld per se. Let's start out in our town, maybe, right? So we could do this. Let's get out of the overworld map. And you want to go to one of these areas that we have so far. So we have a village map, we have a town map, and a castle map. Let's pick the village. All right, so here's a little village. Actually, I think the town map I should do first. The town map is bigger. Yeah. Cool. So here's a town map. We could choose any one of these spots around here to have our initial position be. Um, what well, looks pretty good? Maybe down here? That's little silhouette is where you're actually um, going to be coming in when you connect from the overworld into this town or village. Um, so we could put it there. Uh, we could put it... Start you off over here, too, in the corner. Or we could put you right here between uh, the armory and a shop of some sort. We could do that. We'll put it right there. Initial position, we'll have you facing downward. There we go. Cool, and there's a little character icon there of initial position. We'll save that, and we'll give it a test play to make sure it works properly and see how it looks. So again, this is the area, this initial position is when the player who's playing your game, where they will start in your game. It's very important because your game is based around where the person starts, right? Cool. 
And there we are. Cool. Now these are not enterable yet. You can make those by choosing interiors for houses and buildings and things like that. And you can actually uh, have an interior of a house and uh, start your character in there. And they could actually come out then into this area of your village if you wanted to. But we started right here, which is pretty cool. All right, exit back out of that. All right, let's go back to the overworld map. I'm gonna show you this too. Of course, the little uh, initial position we actually had set up here, it's gone because you only have one initial position in the game. So that's why it's gone from here. All right, we'll do one or two more of these. Let's do uh, the village. This is the other map. Let's have our character start. <clears throat> um, how about over here, right in front of this house? That works. Initial position. We'll have them facing to the left this time. Perfect. And we'll save that and give it a test play. Cool. Save from beginning and there we go we're in our little village here now we started right here facing to the left and we can head out here there we go and there we are I thought that was that actually I think um, <clears throat> oh I have the towns backwards okay <laughs> no problem we'll do that really quick this is the town so let's go back to the town map I wasn't sure which map I had for which. So town. Got it. All right, so we can have you start the church, maybe. We'll start the little house up here. That's kind of cool. Put the person right here. I'll be facing down. So you guys see, this is a pretty important part of your game. You want to make sure you have a spot chosen of where you want the player who's playing your game to start and have the game kind of built around that area. In my game that I'm making, uh, the character's actually starting in the village which is pretty cool. So there we go, save that. Give it a quick little test play here for you. So this is pretty simple. Um, it took me a little while to figure out what this did exactly when I first got the game. I am kind of a, a newbie when it comes to RPG Maker, and RPG Maker Fest, and a lot of guys are asking questions, or pretty similar questions, so I'll be doing a lot of these tutorial videos coming up soon on basic stuff like this. Um, but if you don't have the game yet and plan to get it, this will actually give you a little lead and jump start when you get your game. I know what to do. Cool. Learning from my mistakes and my um, creations, too. So we started right there, which is cool. And we can walk around here. Now we're in our little town or village area. There's a pub down here. Yummy. All right, we'll do one more for you. We'll do the castle. We'll do that initial position yet, too. Let's go to castle. And this is actually inside, which is cool. So this could be like a house, too, if you choose a house. Um, so in our castle, we can have you start maybe in the um, king's quarters or something like that, or a bedroom. Uh, there's like a, some kind of hall area. Maybe by the piano. That'd be cool. That works. <clears throat> Perfect. And we'll test play it for you really quickly. All right. And from beginning. And you see, we started right next to the piano, and this is where you could start the game for your character, too. So this gives you some ideas, guys, on what to do for initial position, what it does, what it means, and why it's very, very important when you're making your game that you think of where the initial position should be um, for the player and the character when they're playing your game. We're going to head out of the castle here. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not sure where I put my placement at. <laughs> there we go. You can actually put a marker down there in each spot where the person should exit and enter as well, so they know where to go to exit out of the castle. There'll be another tutorial video coming down soon, probably. <laughs> uh, I like to just put a little icon there or something like that so they know where to go. But so, that's pretty cool. And this position is very, very important. We did it for all of these areas here, including the overworld map, too. All right, guys, this is this tutorial video. Blast the like button for me. I appreciate all of your comments, suggestions, and tips. Hope you're enjoying creating your own games as well. Stay tuned right here for daily uploads of my Let's Create series for RPG Maker Fest. Also, more tutorial videos coming soon. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.